gonna put the piano over here for now. I don't really have room to keep it here like I have the car, so... Apologies for that. It's not really a... It's a little bit too big of an item, I think. Let's go over here for now. Okay. Ooh, excuse me, I got the hiccups. Alright. Two to three hours for the house. The house will probably be the last thing we do. And by probably, I mean definitely. Okay. We're kind of house. Just, uh... Get all the, uh... Piano cards near each other. A little bit... Try and stay a little bit organized here if I can. Oops. Just bet that one, but it doesn't have anything on it, so not really a not big a deal. I'll just wait to, wait to see what it tells me to do. Back in the house. Here we go. Five steps. Seems reasonable. Plastic bag with special parts. Yep, got that over there. Number five, making the main body. Okay. Eight pieces from sheets A and B. B. Well, that is quite a lot of quite a lot of big pieces here. I like that. So we got this. Punch this thing out. We got this here. This, oops. Just got my arms stuck in a piece of cardboard. Okay. Get back into the get back into the swing of things here. Like that. That's all we need from this for right now. pieces over here as well. Quite a few. Look this nice uh, brick texture they have for the house one. They really, uh, they, they always, always go above and beyond in presentation, in my opinion. Oh, oh, that's fine, okay. Oh, this is all one big piece, oh wow, okay. This is an exceptionally large piece. Oops. Oh, we needed that one, okay. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> Knocked it on the next one either way, so. Get this out of here without messing anything up. Okay, that's a very big piece right there. And then. This here. And this here. Oh, we got the. Uh, the piano, I think, had rings like this before. You punch out the middle and then you use them as like a filler piece, so that's. Been interesting. Looks like we're gonna be doing something like that again. Well, let me get out all these little bits here. Um, is that a door? That is a door. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. This little door here. Perfect. Uh, this bit has this thing here. This piece has an absolute ton of things to punch out, it looks like. Maybe not too bad, actually. These pieces are a bit more, uh, I thought they were more separate, but, uh, they're actually a bit pretty much all connected, so. Not bad. Alright. There's that. Two more here. Here. 
here, and then one more piece, and then we can finally get started. And those are not punch outs, those are like tabs, so. Oops. Alright, there we go. Let's see what we got coming up here. Ah, oh, damn it. Should have known. Okay. These are very, very big pieces here. there and still you know it dude I've I only built one thing so far I built the piano here let me show you piano I was just messing with it a bit ago works uh, pretty nicely fucking cardboard you know it kiddo you fucking know it okay so there's there's the piano we're making the house next this is what I've been particularly looking forward to. Yeah. Um, go. Uh, actually, let me do these punch outs quick. Damn right I do. Just wish I didn't. <laughs> Understandable, have a nice day. Okay. Plenty of little things to get out here. And still more. Okay. After this, then we'll finally be ready to start. Oh god, this is such a mess. If you have any trouble, yep, back and forward. Standard stuff. Uh, okay, hold on. Let's move the Joy-Con on. So that'd be this one. Okay. I'm just gonna move all this other stuff to the side for now. And keep a reasonably clear workspace here. <laughs> okay. Oh, let me move this mouse also. I don't need that. Don't need, certainly don't need that for the, the, the house. Okay. Um, okay. It's going to tell me about fold lines. Yeah. This is an important part because it's going to... What's that? Hold the right joint down. Okay. Fold there, there, there. there. Just fold everywhere. Oh, okay, okay, so this is the, the classic uh, Joy-Con holding construction, okay. Recognize this from last time as well. Okay. Oop, don't work. That's not the right fold at all. Jeez. Getting a little bit uh, rambunctious in my folds here. Okay. Let me fold this bit in, and these go up. So that's where the uh, Joy-Con's gonna go. There we go. Building. Yep, goes like this. Like this. This. This one comes over. Fold this down like that. Just like last time. Did that. This comes in like this. And there we go. Yep, that's exactly like the one for the uh, for the piano. So makes sense. Okay, pretty straightforward. Uh, this is this piece here. Just folds these tabs in. All right. Easy peasy. Once again, okay, it's very similar to last time. So I want this down, and this coming in from this side. Pretty sure it's like this. Just gonna double check. Yeah, okay. Right, that's definitely right. And that explains why we have those rings here again, because we're once again gonna have to pad this uh, this bottom part. 
just like last time. That seems to be like a standard, uh, standard Toy-Con procedure at this point. Gaps, and then, yep, we get the rings, fold them, okay, yep. I know this whole, this whole song and dance. Just gonna run through it just to make extra sure here. Yeah, okay. Exactly as expected. Just these fit into this space right here just to make sure it's a snug fit. And then the same here. Is that the right? Yeah, okay. Same right here. Boop. And there we go. Got our uh, full base here. Okay. Done. Ooh, we're moving on to the very big piece here. It's the big boy. The big, big boy. This piece is going to form the floor and the side walls. Wow, that's literally insane. Okay. This, this is some, some big folds, so I'm going to i to take this one a little bit slow. Okay. Real quick, also, I'd like to just go ahead and thank everyone once again for coming out here tonight. Appreciate you guys. I've been having a ton of fun with this stuff, so. I knew it was going to be fun, but honestly, I've been having even more fun than I thought it was going to, so. It's, uh, it's a good time so far. Good time. Appreciate uh, appreciate you guys for uh, for making it that much more entertaining for me. Hopefully I've been entertaining for you guys as well. Got about uh, two and a half-ish hours left. Most likely, I'll, you know, once I've finished building the house and do some, like, messing around with it, I think the house is going to be the one that's going to be most fun to experiment with, which is why I've been looking forward to it the most. Um, it's going to be most fun to just, like, to do the, to play around with. Um, but once we're all done with that, we are probably going to be ending it off. But, of course, you guys know how long the piano took, so we've, uh, we've still got plenty of time left here. All that stuff in. Oh, okay. Need one of these. Right there. Okay. Set these down. Okay. So, right exactly on these, the inside of these, like, lips here. Okay. Got it. Gonna split it up here just because it makes it a little bit easier for me. A little bit tricky to get it off its uh, base here, I've noticed. Uh, come on. My big dumb adult hands are having a bit of trouble here. There we go. Nope. Never mind. Almost had it. There we go. Now we got it. Okay, so this is gonna go like at the inside of this corner here. Right around there, I think. That's what it looks like, like right on the crease. Yeah, okay. Still folds up nicely. There we go. A little bit tricky to get them off those things. Nice. Okay. Oh, no more marker stickers. Okay. This sheet looks like it has... Oh, it actually still has quite a lot. It's certainly less than the last one, but, uh... Doing all sorts of shapes. Okay, so right now we're supposed to be using these biggish ones up here. And they go where? And these little. Okay, let's just go like right here. Right there. Oops, come on. Oh my god. There we go. It's a bit trickier than it looks. I promise I'm not just, uh. I'm not being a complete animal, at least. It's, at least that's not the only problem. We're looking at something like that. Looks like that's it for that, for now at least. I'll keep this over here, because I'm sure this whole sheet is going to be for this whole house, so. 
Hold the windows inwards, okay. Just gonna pop them up and then I can crease them once they're. There we go. Presumably that's gonna be the same for all of them. Feels like a summer day. <laughs> My god. Always so witty. And we've barely got we we barely just hit spring around where I live, so I'm not uh, I'm not I'm not taking my chances with summer already. Okay. Not sure, I think I might not have done these ones too great. There we go. Seems good. Together. Okay, so just fold it up. Okay. Oh, I didn't fold the tabs in yet. Whoops. Go ahead and do that. There we go. So just slide this right in here. Boop. And likewise here. Boop. Okay. Okay, nice. Well, so this is the, uh... So this is actually how the, how it'll be laid out. It'll be like this. So. Not too shabby. At the back wall. Okay, so that's the extremely big one with the Switch logo on it. Okay, so we'll put this to the side over here. Fold these five tabs, okay. Very similarly, similarly to the last one as well. Do need to crease it, okay. So this is the back wall, I think it said. So I'll just crease that one. Oh. Okay, so that fits here, I believe. Um. Yeah, because this is the big one here, okay. So this slides in like this. You're the uh, one at a time if you're the cautious type. Okay, so these fold in just like this. There we go. So that's what we got so far. It's coming together pretty nicely already. Okay, this. The L mark to make sure it's the right one. Or the left one. <laughs> I like how they, they they give this just like floating text on the screen actual character. It's pretty uh pretty impressive in a way. Okay. Put all these guys in. Okay. Here, slide this in like this. Is that supposed to like, click in at all? Okay, there we go. This part goes here. Very cleverly. Simply gonna do the same with the other one. Yep, just like it. Okay. This time we really do have the right one. Jeez. So, uh, yep, just fold all this stuff in. Simply the same procedure. Okay. Alright. 
So yeah, it should slot in just the same as the other one. This goes up here. This goes in here. And there we go. Okay, so there's that part of it done. See how it's coming so far. Hoist the chimney into place up on top of the house. Feeling like a real construction worker yet. Back wall and then put those in. Okay. So this goes here. Oh. Be a little bit careful of this one. Okay. And then these in the front slide into these guys. I'm being a little bit careful. Make sure it slides in properly. Like that's that actually. There we go. Look at that. It's quite a lot of uh, quite a lot of the uh, the like the main house structure done already. This one wall to go. Most important one. I am overflowing with confidence in your abilities. So nice. So nice. <laughs> okay. What did it say? Top one we're folding, not the bottom one. Okay. For tabs. Oh, okay. Alright, hold on. So we fold this big triangle down. And then the four tabs. Alright, then we're flipping it over. Hold the bottom line in the opposite direction. Okay. Okay, so this... At this second line, we're folding it this way now. Straighten these. Folding it this way. And then they also want us to refold this one just to make sure it's creased well. Apparently that's a pretty important one, so... Just gonna make sure. Okay. We, go. we get a little bit of that action here. Mm. Last wall into the house. Okay, so we put this in here. So it goes underneath this part, but above this other part. It's like this, I believe. Okay. the bottom tab into the floor, okay. And tell us to crease this one so it's a little kinda of forgot to. Usually I just crease everything anyway, because I know I'm gonna have to eventually, but what's this is this, this police emote. Oh trying to oh it's not working. There we go. Ooh, cough. Please don't arrest me. I'm too young to go to jail. and right ceiling pieces. Okay. So this should just fit in right here. There we go. Uh, wait, where's this? Side tab. Oh, side tabs. Here we go. Okay, so these fold up a bit like this. And then in like that. In like that. There we go. And yep, that's where the uh, the soft the soft uh, sponge panels are like in in here. You can kind of see that. Uh, where are they? You actually can't see it at all, but they're there anyway. I promise. Okay. There we go. That's quite a lot of the house done. Actually, I'm pretty impressed. I know there's a lot of stuff with the um. Oh god, my cat's here. Oh, he's gonna start yelling. Okay, hold on. Actually, I actually have to clear the way into the bed so that he can uh, hop up there if he wants to. Okay. He might just, like, sit at my feet. 
he does that sometimes, but he also might want to hop on my bed, so I just want to make sure. There's, oh, I just realized the lower right actually shows you roughly how long you still have in this current step. Uh, put a little step just outside the front door. Use your imagination. <laughs> Jeez, okay. A lot of long falls in this one. Let's crease them all carefully. Okay. So it's just... It's just literally just creasing all of these things one at a time. Okay. Take a minute, but... Make sure these all get creased pretty well, because these long ones always, uh, always trip me up, so... Make sure I spend a little bit more time to make sure that they're right. This one... Okay, then we just got these two here. Alright, not too bad. Okay. So maybe we're just gonna roll this up, basically. Yep. Roll it up here. <clears throat> and... Chunk. Um, okay. Sure, it's in there pretty firmly. All right, seems good to me. Um, so the white print inside is facing the right side up, and slide the top. Uh, okay, so I guess you just slide this into this spot. I wonder why. I guess it's just to give the switch a little something to stand, a little something to rest on. I suppose. Okay. Just kind of slides in like this. See? Pretty, pretty straightforward here. Um. Oh, I didn't do that right. Hold on. It's supposed to slide in like this, I think. There we go. Right? Yeah, yeah, there we go. Okay. That's. That makes a bit more sense to me. So I just realized these holes here are actually for the switch to vent, I believe. So that's actually pretty pretty clever. It said bonus points if they line up. Ah, uh, no, they don't. They don't quite line up on the bottom there. It's like very slightly off. Damn. No bonus points. Oof, I'm back. Welcome back, Ryu. Uh, when was the last time you were here? I'm not sure. But either way, we made the piano. Here, look. Piano? Works and everything. I mean, obviously, right now it doesn't, but, uh, we made some, uh, made some knobs. Made four of these. These took forever, and lots of stickers. But, um, we got the piano all done. We messed around with it a bit, and now we're moving on to the, uh, we moved on to the house. I was here at the piano keys. Okay, so you were here at about, like, up to about halfway through the piano process-ish. <clears throat> See, we got it all, we got it all done probably mess around with it a bit at the end of the stream you know working on the house and we're making some good progress so far there's five steps we're almost done with the first one but the the main house structure itself is almost done which is pretty nice okay there's still another piece left though yeah here we go time to add the roof oh yeah i guess this is kind of a shitty looking roof right now i didn't even notice uh one big long crease all right can do that Okay, I can already see how this is going to work as well. Fold the two tabs into place. Just got to fold these little guys here. Oop, there we go. Just pushing the wrong spot. So you can kind of see how that's going to go. Oh, so carefully. Alright, so we go ahead and just put this on top of here like this. Make sure it all fits nicely. And then these just kind of slide into here, I presume. But it came over. I found a screw and didn't get it, but he's gone now. Oh, okay, I got you. No problem at all, man. No problem at all. Uh, where does this one go? I can't see. Okay, there we go. Uh, come on, get in there. There we go. There we go. Nice roof. Nice house. Just nice. Alright, there we go. 
House is complete. There we go, we're done. <laughs> Three special blocks to slide into the main house. Okay. Button block. Okay, so each of these next three parts are one one of the special blocks. So we're gonna put this uh, over here. Okay, shoots A and B. Also, it seems like my cat has decided to just lay my feet, which is convenient because that means I can spread the cardboard back across my bed. Uh, he just got back from floating. Came over to watch the last part of Digimon <laughs> Tried. Nice. Are they still? I guess they're still making Digimon? I didn't know that, honestly. I never watched Digimon. I mean, to be fair, I didn't really watch, uh... I, to be fair, I, like, I like Pokemon, obviously, a lot more now, but even when I was younger, I didn't even really watch Pokemon that much. At least, not that I remember. I, I very well might have, and I just don't remember, because my memory is pretty much worthless, but... My big, stupid brain. <laughs> okay. Uh, so we got these. And stuff from D. There's only four sheets for the house, actually, so this seems like a bit more of a straightforward one. Uh, okay, so that's this. Just these three over here, it looks like. Yeah, okay. And... Yeah, this one, okay. Look different for a second, but it's because uh, they have some parts punched out. that. Alright, uh, let me just punch this stuff out in advance. This has, a, like, four little tiny things here. There's still the kitty version of it. More grown-up anime culture. Ah. Oh, that's pretty cool, actually. Very interesting. So there's still... Okay, okay, I see. So the, so the adult one is, like, a continuation of the, the original one. I guess, where, like, the kids are now, uh, like, the original characters from the original Digimon are older now. That type of thing. That's pretty cool, actually. Honestly, something like that I feel like Pokemon could really afford to do at this point. <laughs> in my opinion. I don't need to punch out the square as well. Okay. So there's our pieces. Fast forward. Yep. Yeah, I got that. Okay. Nice long box. I can relate to that. Chris, all these lines with your usual skill and moxie. Thank you. Fold that, fold that, fold that. Okay, so those we don't fold. Important distinction. Didn't think so, but always good to make sure. Alright. Today was the last part. Left a cliffhanger so they can make more of a movie if they want. Yeah, that's, that's pretty st standard procedure, but... Uh, Good at least that it sounds like they plan on continuing that. At least at least somewhat. At least somewhat further. Uh, just roll it up, okay. So standard rolling maneuver here. Just plug that in there. That is certainly a long box, alright. This is gonna have to fold into here at some point, so I'm just gonna go and do that now. Yeah, there's a box. Our crowned box. Yep, did that. For the button itself. Nice, that's this one. Okay. Ash is forever ten years old. <laughs> I want more, it was so good. Over modern anime. Right, yeah, that sounds very interesting. That's, I, that's like, one of my favorite things that shows do. Is, like, you know, they have, like, an original show that was out at one point, and then, like, Later on, when the people who watched that show would have been, you know, would be older, uh, they then make, like, a continuation where the characters actually are older, and, you know, they have to deal with, like, new problems and, like, you know, stuff that, obviously, kids wouldn't really know anything about. It's, it's just, it's, like, a really cool thing, I think, to keep, uh, to keep an, an entire generation, like, very, very much so, like, still in the, in the, in the, the loop with, you know, shows that they used to watch. It's, like, partially nostalgia. But then also, you know, it's just, they like it now because it's, like, a continuation of something that they used to like, and it does, like, new interesting things. It's just stuff like that. It's it's pretty, it's, like, very cool, in my opinion. 
Okay, so we got that. And then, okay, let's go plug into here. Make sure not to break them. Yeah, I'll give them, I'll give them my best shot here. So this kind of plugs in like this. Very similar to what we did with the piano, like, four times, so... Not too bad. Okay. Alright, slam it down here, and then we can just, uh... Plug all this stuff in. Got to relive my childhood. Feels absolutely good, man. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, man. It's good stuff. Very good stuff. I mean, it's it's still, like, a pretty valid approach to do, you know, more like what Pokemon's doing, where they basically just keep making, you know, they keep all the same characters, all the same ages, you know, they keep them all the same, and, um, just continually cater, or, like, have, like, the target audience be, like, you know, the same group of people, or, like, the same age group as opposed to the same generation type of thing. You know, it's, they're, like, both pretty valid, but I, I think, uh... I mean, the way Pokemon does it, you know, is more conducive to actually just continuing to do it forever. Whereas I think the other way makes ma makes a much more interesting, like, overarching narrative, I guess. So it just kind of depends on what they want to go for. It's it's interesting that Pokemon and Digimon, you know, they're both seen as, like, competitors back in the day. And they both took, like, opposite approaches to, to that whole thing. I think that's pretty interesting. Uh, okay, what's next thing? Sort of a weird shape. I would agree with that. Okay, let's just crease it and then roll it up. Okay. It's a bit of a goofy looking shape. Okay. Roll it up. Oh, these kind of like snap together a bit like that, I guess. Yep. Not like super snuggly, but works at least. Um, hello? That's weird. Check that it's the right shape. I mean, there's only two. There's only two pieces left, so. <laughs> okay. Fold it all inwards. Okay. All right. It's not the part we just made straight through the middle. Okay. So just like trying to see which way this needs to go in here. Probably doesn't matter that much, but I kind of just want to make sure here. Oh, actually, it looks like it's using this. Yeah, it's using this top, this end specifically. Okay, that's what I was trying to find. So we can slide this through. Uh, okay, suppose that's that. Yeah, okay. Uh, what else? Bottom half of the block. Just carefully for the perfect shape. I'm gonna do my best, okay? I mean, no such thing as perfect, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do what I can here. Okay, so that goes there. Those parts so far. Crease, 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 crease. Alright. Okay. Take it nice and... Oh, nice and easy here. Alright. This one's going on its side, and then the other thing's slotting into that as well. Okay. Interesting. This goes in... Okay, long side on the top. Uh, oh, they actually... Yeah, they have an arrow on... Uh, they have arrows that are supposed to line up. Okay, that's good. They, they always have stuff like that. They're still, like, make absolutely sure that you're doing it correctly, which is pretty cool. So how does this, so this slides all the way in here. Okay, so there's like this little square here that it goes into. Oh dear, okay. This is a bit uh, peculiar. Looks like the guy shipped the PC, PC case already. Should get it by Friday, wow, that's pretty quick. It's good stuff, man. 
Oh, is that still okay? Let's go ahead and get all these in here. So I guess this is the kind of shape we're looking for. It looks like a like a mushroom actually. Felt very very loose at first, but once you tie everything in, it's actually like very uh very sturdy. Whoops. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Spread these four long arms out to the sides. Okay. Can do. There we go. Ooh. Surprisingly square flower, don't you think? No? Fine. Snuggly into the hole in the middle. Okay. It's not very snug, actually, but uh, I guess that's probably fine. Man, these flaps to slot them into the butt. Oh, okay, okay, I see. Into those little spots there. Alright, I see. Let me, let me actually just take this out and just crease all these in advance. a little bit easier. Okay. And see, the, the this thing here has all these tiny, tiny holes on each of the four sides, so you just kind of snap those in there. There we go. Now when you push down, it uh, does that. There's our button. Look at that. Very cool. Yeah, that's uh, I'm pretty sure that's the whole thing. Don't tell anyone. But this is actually a spring mechanism. No way. Labo screenshots taken out of context. <laughs> uh, so let me see if I can. Okay, moving on. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> Damn, I forgot. I forgot this. This would certainly need marker stickers. Damn. All right, it's fine. We'll get through this. Oh, that's not exactly right. Okay. There we go. All right. So this. Okay. So there needs to be four. Looks like four go on. Little square ones go at the very bottom, each side. Okay. Be a bit tricky, but we'll uh, we'll get there. We'll get there here. Alright, so let's be pushed all the way down. Okay. Just like that. And just one of those on each of the four sides. Easier if I do it like this, actually. It's actually a lot easier. Okay. These are not going on very nicely at all, but it's fine. Stickers are hidden away, so don't really have to worry about how it looks. As long as it works, which I'm pretty sure it will, so there we go. Oh, there's one more. Whoops. Oh, these little notches. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, there's little, very tiny notches in the bottom, so. Okay. This is this long one next, right next door here. Okay. There we go. Oh. Oh, I mean, there we go. Oh, and there's more. Oh, wow. Okay. Around the corners. Just right there. Okay. These are... Which ones are these? These are... Okay, so these are the slightly longer ones. Alright. Okay. Got it. Do 
this so you guys can still actually see it. Okay, should be good. Two more of those. This doesn't this one doesn't quite look like it's on very well. Oh, it's because that part kind of that's kinda of where it creases in a bit, so yeah, it's not not gonna be perfect, but should be uh I think it'll be good enough here. Ah. There we go. Okay. That hopefully is all of them. First four stickers popping in and out. Yep. Boop. Kinda see the see the stickers come up there? Boop. Perfect. That, now the button I'm pretty sure is complete. Truth, okay, so now we're gonna try slotting it into the house. So we'll just put it, uh, we'll just put it on this one just because it's closer. Let's see, should slide right in there, and sure enough it does. Then you can press it, beep. And you can't see what it looks like on the inside, but, uh, Oh, those stickers are really reflective, actually. See, there's like no light in there, but here, let me try and. Uh, oh, I'm looking through the wrong one. Whoops. It's actually very, very bright. Perfect. Whee! Alright, cool. So, this, the house is done, and the button is done. The button block. Right there. I'll put it this side up, actually. Okay. More blocks to go. Take a break. Nope. Absolutely not. Making the crank block. Okay. Six pieces from A and B. Move this a bit to the side here, just so I have a bit more room to work with. So we're not pretty much. So everything from A. And then, like, all but one thing from B, it looks like. Yeah, okay. Okay. This thing. I kind of know where this, what this piece is going to be used for, just because of the uh, piano had something identical to that. Oh! Tried to sneak by me. Tried to pull a fast one. Um, and B. There we go. Just need this one. Alright. What else? Probably something else from another set. Actually, like, guarantee. Yep. Oh, wow, this music just got really loud in my ears. I don't know why. Okay. This whole big, uh, big button base down here. Triple B for short. There we go. Should, uh, should be everything we need here. Just pop some things out while I'm in, while I'm in the mood. I like, I don't know, I like the, uh, the progression, I guess, of building this quite a lot better, because, like, every single step you complete something, like, very tangible and very, you know, very, like, a finished thing just on its own. The piano, it was a lot of, like, you know, you completed, like, this very small component of, I, I guess the piano is similar, really, in that way, but, uh, I don't know, it just feels a lot, uh, a lot nicer for the house. Just because everything is, like, it's, like, a completely, uh... Independent, like, you know, 
Cause, just because of how the, the nature of the house, how you, you know, you have all these different modules that you plug into the, the main house. So, you know, everything kind of has to be, like, basically a finished thing just on its own. So, I don't know, kind of quite like it. I think none of these have pop-out things. Nope, okay. So that's everything there. The main shaft, that's the doohickey that spins around. Thank goodness. Let's just fold everything in. Yep, it'll be the cap, just as I had suspected. Okay. Beep. Whoa, what's up with this piece? Uh, that's... yeah, okay, okay, there we go. It's all full of holes! <laughs> My god. Seven fold lines crease here. It's a hexagon, the coolest of all geometric shapes. That's true, actually. If any of you guys disagree, I'm not really sure what to tell you. It's just fact. Okay. So this is very similar to what we did on the piano when we were making the knobs. At least this part. So the fact that there's this this cap and then there's this uh, this thing that you crease seven times. It's all very very reminiscent. Presumably, it's going to be yep. It's going to be the same exact type of structure here. Just like that. Cap's going to go right there. So it goes right here. Uh, there we go. Handle as usual, start with the print set down. So that's uh, this piece. Yeah, okay. Oh, two lines of. Oh, okay. That's a little. That's a little bit of a tricky one. Got to be careful of this one. Okay, there we go. Hopefully, those are creased distinctly enough. More of a D8 shape kind of guy. Yeah, that's all right. That's fair. That's respectable. That's a fair. Uh, that's a that's a fair assessment, I would say. <laughs> Slot it into the main shaft. Okay. So the protruding end. So this is gonna slide in just like this, I think. Uh, oh, having a bit of trouble. The shape is a little bit off. I think it's supposed to be like this. Okay. Should be able to see this little slot. Alright, so it needs to slide in long enough, far enough to see the slot at the bottom. Okay, there we go. Real stats for days, absolutely. Yeah, it's certainly a shape you get used to. You get, uh, you get a lot of exposure to. I haven't done any. I haven't done any like D and D anything in so long. I just don't have the time. It's really a shame. Like if I lived on campus, it would be different because I could just you know pop by whenever I want. But I can't. I'm a you know I commute. Um, two of this piece, but one's a spare, so we don't need it now. <laughs> nice. Okay, I'll just keep it with uh, when we do the um, when we store everything in the thing. I'll probably put it in there. Um, okay. Still important, if you don't crease it well, it won't roll up properly. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I did, I, the, really the only time I've ever been able to do any D&D &D anything is in, uh, high school, actually. A couple of my favorite, uh, teachers over, you know, a couple, a couple different ones over a couple different years, they, uh, did some D&D &D stuff. It was always a lot of fun. You know, playing with my friends and stuff, but, uh, when I got to college, I did it a couple of times at the very beginning of the semester, because it was, like, you know, it was all, like, very, ooh, new and, and stuff, but eventually it's just, like, it's too much work to go all the way in just for, you know, just for that. I don't know. It's unfortunate, but hopefully, uh, in the later years I'll be able to find a little bit more time for it. I'm hoping. Um, these... 
Uh, hold on. So this should be like directly on top of each other, actually. Okay, there we go. Oh, that's uh, a little bit not great. Okay, should be fine here. So we got that. Oh, these are supposed to fold the other way. Okay. There we go. Oh, thank you. Uh, what is this name? Jordan Storms for the host. Thank you very much, man. Appreciate that. Always appreciate the hosts. It means a lot to me. Welcome, uh, welcome to the stream, my friend. Welcome to the stream. We are uh, about halfway-ish through making the house. Uh, so we're going to be streaming for about two more hours, so hopefully, uh, hopefully you decide to stick around for a bit. Uh, why are we sliding? We're literally putting a square peg in a round hole right now. Why are we doing this? <laughs> okay. Whoops. Seems a little. Uh, little bizarre to me, but alright. You know, I'll, I'll roll with it for now. So that lo looks like that, I think. I love this idea from Tenet. Me too, man. Me too. It's such a it's such an interesting thing. There's so much you can do with it, too. It's such a powerful... Just like the, uh, the Toy-Con Garage stuff, it's such an incredibly powerful set of tools that you can do. Uh... So I don't know if but uh, yeah, it's it's such it's such a cool thing. I I absolutely love it. Uh, so that goes all the way through there. Okay. But uh, yeah, I'm curious. How did you how did you find this? Okay. How did you find the stream, man? Are you just uh, just looking looking for Labo stuff again? I've had a few people actually come. So a lot more people than I would have expected who come by. Just you know, they just were looking up Labo on on Twitch just to see just to check it out. It's very surprised by that. It's a bit of a snug fit. There we go. I think that's, uh... Make sure this is, like, relatively even here. Okay. That's kind of what we're looking at right now. Uh, we'll see the end peeking at the other side, pretty sure. Yeah. Okay. We're good. I think we want it to be really big. Need to make more packs. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's... The, you know, it's the, the variety kit is number one, and then the, the robot kit's number two. Like, they're already numbered. And they're also, like, it's zero, one, zero, two. Like, they like they fully intend for there to be more. Like, possibly more than nine, even. Just possibly. Um, so, I'm really hoping... Again, it, it just depends on how well it sells, I guess. But I'm hoping it does well enough that they actually will be continuing to do more stuff like this in the future. Because I it's it's really cool. I like it a lot. Interested if anyone's streaming Labo? Gotcha. Yeah, when I first started streaming, I saw there's one other guy, but apparently shortly within the stream, even he stopped streaming. So, I might be one of, at least one of, like, maybe two or three people streaming Labo right now, if that. Um, but you're a pro. Thank you. Okay, okay, I see. So this just needs to fold back like this. Okay. We go nice and snug and then this part turns okay I see so this is gonna be the crank so it's gonna turn it's gonna turn like this okay I see something like that at least or it might be it might actually turn no okay yeah it's definitely turned like that okay very cool all right so there's that um, there we go oops come on there we go Crease ourselves some folds. Alright, this big piece here. You're pro at pushing shafts into holes, huh? Hey, what can I say, man? What can I say? The game the game certainly seems very confident in my skills, so who am I who am I to doubt? <laughs> who am I to say otherwise? It's just folding everything. Okay. Alright. Make sure. I don't do anything funny here. There we go. Alright. <laughs> Ree's got the right idea. 
Uh, did they say what to do with this yet? I'm not sure that they did. Doesn't look like it. Okay. I'm just gonna leave. I'm just gonna leave well enough alone for now then. Okay. But yeah, how are how are you? How are you, Jordan? How are you doing, man? Like I said, good to, good to see you. I'm, I've been getting a lot of new viewers during this Lavo stream, so it's very, very interesting for me. Okay, so this goes up like this. Okay, and this is probably going to feed through uh, through this part. Okay. This goes together like this. Oh, thank you very much, Jordan, for the follow as well, man. I really appreciate that. Means a lot to me, man. Let's go see here. Okay. You, I believe, are the fifth, the fifth new follower I've actually gotten today, just during this Labo stream. So, I'm definitely thinking I'm going to be doing another one. That's, that's. There's no doubt about that. It's just a matter of when, really. Uh, fold this weird tab outward. Okay. Just want to fold this one outward. But yeah, I really, I really appreciate that, man. Time going to bed. Going to bed very soon. Just get stuff ready. Ah, oh, gotcha, gotcha. No problem at all. I always fall asleep, like, me personally, at least I fall asleep to streams every single night, so. Yeah, definitely. Definitely know what you mean there. Slide that in there. Okay. So the cranking of the block is shown. Yep, thought so. Pay attention to the markings. It's easy to get it the wrong way around. Okay, so we want this going this way. This going here. Uh, this, I think. Okay. Another one of these stoppers. We're gonna have to... Oh, why no cast Labo? Like, why is she not, um... Like, why is she not here? Or... Type thing? Because honestly... Um, streaming Labo with her sometime, honestly, would be kind of fun, I think. If, if that's what you mean. Uh, okay, so this goes here. Like this. Okay. Which side does it want pointing up? Uh, so it actually wants the white part pointing inwards, which is interesting, but okay. I'll, 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 uh, I'll trust their stylistic, uh, choice here. Okay, so that's where the actual block is going to be. Okay, yeah, I see. So then this is going to go into the house, and then this is how it's... Okay, so yeah, this is actually the part that's going to turn then. So then, Because then you can turn this, and then it doesn't... You don't have to like keep rotating your hand. You can just keep it level, as you can see here. Which is pretty cool, okay. But, um, yeah, if we ever actually start doing our Saturday streams again, um, I think doing at least one of the Labo creations would definitely be something I would consider. So, uh, yeah, I would definitely be down for that. Okay, hopefully next time she comes over, um, a sound effect tab, I love it. Is it a slot? Okay. I would definitely, definitely be down for that, so ho hopefully we're gonna, we can do something, we can do that pretty soon here. So you get that nice noise. Oh, it doesn't... Hold on. I mean, cast to lava would be funny. <laughs> yeah, I would I would definitely be interested in that. <laughs> I didn't even think of it like that, to be honest. That would be... Yeah, I, I, I like the idea of that. I like that a lot. Okay, so this... It's supposed to go in here. It's supposed to just stay in there. Okay, there we go. the idea of that. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know which one I'd wanted to do, honestly. The fishing one or the motorbike one? I'm not sure. Both are pretty good options. Okay, there we go. So that's done. So later I'm off to bed. Alright, thank you. Uh, thank you very much for, for the follow and for the for the host there, Jordan. Appreciate you, man. Uh, yeah, you have a good night. Have a good night, man. Okay, so is that stickers now? Yep. The worst part, in my opinion. Okay. Let's 
So there's one on each of the notched sides of the, the hexagon here. The piano blows my yeah. I just I made that one actually as my first one. Um, I was very very impressed by the piano. The problem is I'm like musically inept in every single way. So like I personally don't really know what to do with it. But I can I can tell like just on every level that the piano is very impressive. Like if I actually knew how to make music at all, I think I would have an absolute blast with it. But since I can't, uh, I'm not sure. I, like it's not gonna be the most it's not gonna be one that I go to at least when I just want to like mess around with the with the Labo but um that's it was very satisfying to finally have it done I actually have it right here uh, just bring that over right here it's my piano there so it's very very happy with how it turned out very very proud I'll be uh I'm getting a big shelf for the back of my uh, my stream my stream setup it's like right behind my chair and all this Labo stuff is definitely going to be going there. It's one of the big reasons I want to make it, honestly, is just for uh, really cool display pieces. I hate stick, especially the bunchy void ones. I remove those instantly. <laughs> oh, that's what that's what I like to hear, man. <laughs> that's what I like to hear. A fellow hater of stickers. Tiny triangular stickers. Oh god, these look horrible. That's the bigger stickers on the outside, okay. Oh god, these are so small. Look at how tiny these things are. Let me, let me, show, let me show you guys just how, how tiny we're dealing with here. Look at this. It's so small. Okay, so these go, these point inwards. Down from the notches. Okay. So something like something like that. It's a little bit not exactly straight, but you know. When have I ever put on a single sticker straight in my entire my entire Labo career? The answer, of course, is exactly zero times. Maybe one time. That one knob I did for the piano was pretty well done, if I do say so myself. But uh, besides that, besides that, I'm uh, I'm thinking not. I'm pretty much estimating every time I put these on. Oh, that time it didn't even stick to the thing. Nice. Excellent work, me. There we go. Okay. Alright. One more here. Carefully. There we go. Not perfect, but should be good enough, almost certainly. At least until Nintendo Sony makes up. Really? I actually didn't know that. Illegal to put those on your products? That's interesting. Very interesting. Unless you're just pulling my leg. You know I'm easy to, you know I'm easy to trick, so... So this needs to go all the way around the base there. This very long one up at the top here, I think. Oh, that is a very long one. Yeah, okay, it's gotta be this one. Okay. Very carefully here. Uh, press it down here, make sure it's got a nice nice seal here. Not an otter, specifically needs to be a seal. Some jamming music, dude. Are you kidding me? There we go. Can I see that? It's actually very loud, it seems like, for you guys. Okay, doing it this way is a bit less loud. I think this is yeah this is this is the intended way though this is this is the intended way all right seems good 
So there's the crank done. Or actually, no, it's not. Is it completely done? Uh, I think it is actually, yeah. Another moment of truth. If you have trouble, make sure the sound effect tab is completely inserted. Okay. Uh, I think there's more companies. Put that on any item over five bucks. Wow, okay. That's very interesting. They know the reason? I guess, I don't know. I never really thought anything of it, to be honest. It always seemed like, you know, like it's, it's like a fair enough thing to do. But, uh, I guess, uh, I guess some people disagreed, which, I mean, you know, it's reasonable, but I'm just, I'm curious, curious what the actual reason is. But, uh, yep, there we go, we got the, the crank there. Pretty, pretty tiny little handle here, but, you know, what can you do? It's pretty, very nice otherwise, so, go ahead and unslot that. Put that there. Okay, so we got our house, we got our button, and we got our cranks. We got one more thing to build here. Uh, I think it's the Switch next. Not the Nintendo Switch, the, um, like the Switch, uh, like the, it's like a, like a lever, sort of. And straight into it, stretch your legs. No, my legs are perfectly stretched right now, thank you. The key, uh, they call it the key block, okay. Alright, so B and C... I think that's going to completely empty both of these. Reason is, right to repairs in some companies like that. Ah, okay. Oh, that makes sense, actually. Okay, that's, that's, I, I, like, I knew it was a good thing to have, to have them not be able to do that. I was just curious what, like, the legal, I guess, reason was that they wanted to change it. But, um, okay, that's, yeah, that's very good. Because, yeah, really, there's really no reason that you shouldn't be able to get your stuff fixed in any situation. Like, it's just it's just good customer service, really. But, uh, good customer service is typically, uh, typically seems to be optional. At least it has been in the past for a lot, for a lot of these companies, so. Uh, then we'll wish who she do, right? Okay. So this is four, but there's still these two things here, so I wonder what these are going to be used for. Very, very curious about that. There we go. Okay. And oh, oh, that's fine. That's part of the part of the base. Not worried about it. There we go. Uh, those those last two things on that one also are the only things left for this this whole house. So we're making very good progress on this one. Last of the piece we need for the house. Okay, so that I guess is probably more for the um the discover stuff, so it's like some of the extra stuff. Okay. Store sheet D safely in the box. Which one's this? Whoa. Okay. <laughs> Looking for this one, I think. Yeah. Oh I didn't pop the stuff out yet. Whoops. Getting sloppy. Oh uh, yeah, this is definitely the piece I'm looking for. Uh, nothing there to pop out, actually. Okay, and then that's just a frilly thing. Okay. Alright, ready to finish this up here. <clears throat> grease, grease. Oh, oh, rubber band for this one, okay. I only used one rubber band for one other thing so far, so... I think they're... Sounds like they're mostly used in the fishing rod, based on what uh, I think Kirby had mentioned earlier. So not uh, not too much going on with the rubber bands quite yet. Also, I just actually I just remembered what that other block is used for. It's for the um, like the portal that you can make. So you like attach those and then you like attach a string to them. That's actually pretty cool. That's I think that's something I'll want to do before I end the stream. Um, okay. One of the guys I watch minus tech tips. This iMac Pro on a screen cracked. He had warranty, he had offered to even pay. Literally a new release item. Oh my god, that's so bad. I mean, you know, not not to offend any Apple fans, but I it doesn't it doesn't really stuff like that doesn't really surprise me that much coming from Apple. For being honest. I uh 
I've heard, you know, not great things about about their services in the past, so. Right. <laughs> I literally love that noise. Oh, they even show you like an actual picture of it. That's pretty cool. Okay. That's <laughs> such a good noise. Alright. This is really small. This is actually going to be pretty tricky to get in here. Okay, so let me... Mm, okay. This is this is going to be a bit tricky for my, for my big, dumb adult hands. The phones are good, but everything else is meh. PC cut of the court. Yeah, absolutely. Honestly, even... Just, they're just, their stuff just seem, always seem, that's another thing. That's honestly the main thing for me, at least for a while. Um, their stuff's just overpriced. Like, I mean, I know their phones are good, but like a thousand dollars for a phone? I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm not, uh, I'm, I can't say I'm convinced. We'll, we'll just say. Uh, I'm having some trouble getting this to go through nicely here. Um... This is, looks like looks to be a bit of a trick. I'm gonna pop. Maybe I have to pop it out a bit. Cause these things are kind of like it's still all kind of <clears throat> sorry, like sealed together right now. So I'm gonna pop them out a little bit here. Oh come on! I can't. There we go. <laughs> Some trouble picking the thing up. Okay, there we go. That's a bit. Uh, Bit better here, I think. Yeah, this is definitely a bit, a uh, bit of a tricky maneuver here. Here we're gonna make some dinner. All right, no problem, man. No problem. Just trying to get this stupid rubber band in here. Trying to make sure it's nice and snug. Seems like this is a pretty important part of the mechanism. This is presumably, this is probably what's gonna like snap the key back into its place after you turn it. So it's like, consider that a pretty important feature of a key. Okay. So that's, I think that's, uh, this can afford to slide in. I'll show you guys the finished product in a bit. I'm just making sure that it's actually like correct before I, uh, Anything else? Okay, the problem is also way too in on this side and way too. It's not evenly distributed here. It's actually quite tricky to fix that as well. Oh, jeez. I'm just stretching it. I don't really want to stretch it. I want to redistribute the uh, the length here. Just don't want to break it. I don't know how many extra rubber bands they give you. Hmm. Okay, I think I'm gonna undo. Undo this part here. This is so far out of everything I've done so far. This is, I would say, the only thing that's really felt like a bit of a chore. Cause this is this is actually pretty annoying to do. If I'm being honest here, I don't know there's too much slack here, so I have to. Uh, that seems. I think that's. I think that should be good enough. You guys can kind of see a bit of how that looks. I think that's good enough. I'm not super convinced, but I think it should work here. Okay. Oof. It's broke my immersion there for a bit. Holy cow. Oh god, what was I doing? Okay, roll this up. Alright. Oof, I felt like I was doing something completely different there for a bit. Yeah, out of the entire piano in the entire house, that would I say... So far, I'd say that's the only thing that wasn't completely, like, ultra-intuitive. But, uh, you know, happens sometimes. Okay. So I'm just gonna hope that this 
It's not definitely is not sticking in sticking in the directions that they show, but uh, should be fine. I don't think that'll matter, so I'll put that there for now. Probably actually twist. Okay, so that's this one. Okay. Fold, 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 fold. Okay. Just fold in everything here. Oh, don't really. Don't think I want to touch that right now, actually. Maybe fold this in. Okay. Alright. Um, these two parts are supposed to be sticking up. The rest should be pretty flat. This. So the tabs at both ends. Okay. On the case. Like that and then like this. Okay. Okay, the big tabs just fold inside the side itself, I guess. Okay. This up. Just got the shaft going the right way up. Okay, this goes here. So this will slide into here, and this fits into here. Thusly. Um, there we go. Okay, so that's how we're looking right now. Yep, seems good. Okay. So that piece done. Like the crease ninja you are. God. So that's it's actually just every single every single line here you want to crease over. Okay, perfect. Can do that pretty well. done trillions of creases like this in my days, so it's pretty much a uh, standard procedure. Okay. I don't know if they said to fold in those things, actually. I think that might have been the one thing they didn't show folding in, so I'll hold off on that. So this goes in here, I believe. Oh. oh, a challenger approaches. Press the key right through the hole with the printing on it. Touch the direction, okay. So it's gonna slide in like this, I believe. Okay, I'm gonna wait and see what's... Okay, so the rubber bands just fully go in here. And attach the rubber band. Ooh, those attach down to here, okay. That noise. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. Okay, so you, inside here you have to fish out the rubber bands. I'm trying to. Okay. Then you snap it along this this bit down here, just like that. And then I'm pretty sure we're gonna do the same for the other side. Okay. There we go. Appears to be right. Uh, okay, so then you fold it up. Oh, right, and then it gets caught on gets caught on the little lip there. Uh, close it up. Right, so we're set on this side. And then, yep, I already did this. Love that noise. Close it up. All right. Good to close this side. Oh, wait, no, I actually want to fold this down. There we go. And then we're good to close it up. Uh, cl close it. Oh, it's caught there. There we go. There we 
There we go. Seems to work as... Oops. Seems to work as intended. It'll probably have you check it here. I don't know. Okay, I guess not quite yet. Oops, let's fold this. Alright, that goes... Uh, where is this exactly? So that's... So looking at it like this. Okay. Don't think it matters, but again, I just like to be very consistent with the instructions. Tight squeeze here. There we go. Alright. I think that is good to go. Besides the stickers, of course. Alright. So you can see we got an Try and return this. Oh, it's a little bit bright. Turn it, and then it snaps right back because they were banned. Boop. Very cool. Okay, so there's our there's our key mechanism done. Of course, now we just need the stickers. Finishing touches. I mean, marker stickers. <laughs> of course. Where is that? Oh, that is actually okay. Four stickers on the sides of our key. One down here along the base of the thin side. Okay. So now we gotta put our stickers here. These at least seem pretty straightforward ones to put in. Let's put one there. And then... One here, like along the the side of the long side here. And then same with these two. Okay. Not too bad. I'm sure there's gonna be more, but you know. We're getting there. Okay. we go. So you can see we got our, well, sort of see if I bring it down here. Actually, you can see it a bit better. Reflective stickers there. If I put it too close, there's too much light. So actually, I'm gonna notice the light being a bit of a problem. I'm gonna point the light a bit away. It's the light, it's actually very well lit here. Opposite corner is nice and symmetrical. Okay. So on the side, put this sticking out. Just put one there and there. Okay. Seems reasonable. Uh, come on, can't get it. There we go. Minor trouble is getting the sticker off there. And then on the other corner. Okay, that second one wasn't great, but uh, something along those lines. Need the rest for making other things. So this one was there. Oh, okay. So I guess we didn't actually need all of them, at least. Alright, we are just about done here, actually, with the house. Test the block in the house. Oops. Guess we'll go ahead and... Uh... So we want to slide in like this with that part on the bottom. Okay. Let's go ahead and slide this in here. Just like this. Turn it. Pretty nice. Did you have a leftover handle? Uh, leftover handle. We have, um... There are two leftover things here. These, I believe, are for the, um... The like the tele the tele the like portal thing that you can use do that I definitely want to do before I uh, before I finish here. Uh, okay, so there's all three of our uh, our modules and the house. So we are pretty much done actually with the base with the base house. Impressively enough. Step our 
removing the block from the house. Yep, done. Attaching the Joy-Con. Okay, here we go. Okay, obviously I'm not gonna put the, the thing. I really like that it actually does work with it just docked so that I can actually show you guys what the game looks like. It might be a bit small because I don't want to change it because last time it crashed OBS. <laughs> but, um, still pretty cool. Yep, put it there. Knock, knock, come in. <laughs> okay. Slide this in here. Like that. There you go. And there we go. We are all set to go here. The exact same piece used for the crank handle. Interesting. Really? Like, the, like, identical, like, uh, the crank handle, I think, it was the one that had this, like, circular piece in it? Had this one? Is that, if so, that's very interesting. Okay. So, you can see, this is our little guy here. Um. Can we shake it? Oh, we can't shake it, look at that. So you can just imagine he's inside the house. Uh, okay, so what do we do first? Let's do the button. Let's, do, let's just do a minute over here. So I'm gonna put the button. Uh, this, so I'm gonna put the button on. Oh. Okay. So here I'll. Sh if you guys, so it's a little bit more, uh, a little bit more apparent for you guys. It's like opposite for me, but okay. So now there's a button. Push it, and I think it'll turn to nighttime. Yep. It's quite nice. <laughs> oh. Probably very confused. The part you grab to spin the thing? Interesting. Yes, yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure why you would have gotten an extra one of those. That's very bizarre. So if it's nighttime, you take it out. Does it just stay nighttime? Nice. Okay. But I mean, we could also just leave it here and then we could just plug in another one. So we'll uh, plug in the. Uh... Oh. Um. Uh, this is doing something. That's why I said handle. Gotcha. That is weird, though. I'm not sure why... Different things in different spots. Okay. Uh, it actually doesn't turn the other way. Like, at all, actually. Okay. Uh, shaking it doesn't work here. Okay. Okay, so I guess that's because we had two items in. If you, so if you have two in, you get, like, a different combination of minigames, I guess. Interesting. Uh, different things in different spots. And you have, oh, really? Okay. So here it has this thing. <laughs> you can make it spin too fast. Okay, but if you spin it at the right speed, it looks like he sleep. Got him. Okay, so they do different things in different spots, huh? Interesting. So let's try this over here, then. Okay, so it's still that over here, at least. Right, so what does it do during the day? Okay, right. Let's make it daytime. And then see what this does. See, that's why I like, because there's like so many different combinations. It still does it, even during the day? Really? Okay. He even sleep during the day. The absolute madman. Okay. So, during, at the bottom it might do something. So let me try, let me try to plug this into the bottom. Ah, there we go. Okay. So in the bottom they do different things. So, let's try and press this in. Oh. Yeah, you could feed him, look at that. Choose food with LR and use... right to offer it. Um... Lay it flat this hole in the bottom for key. 
Uh, send you Infinity War meme? Okay, thank you. Oh, if you like turn it sideways, is it? Oh, it actually changes gravity. Look at that. Okay, so it doesn't look like it works upside down, but uh, if you turn it like sideways, it works. Neat. So how do you change? What is this? Oh, okay. There we go. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. I see now. I wonder what these do differently. Also, this thing is kind of horrifying. If I might be, might might be honest. It doesn't seem to do much different. Here, just eat them all. Uh. Okay. Let me let me see how let me see how much you can eat at once. Have you seen the John Wick movies? Yes. I quite enjoyed them. They were very good. Especially the first one. You read all these, you absolute freak. There's no more left. You monster, you ate everything. Not sure what's going on with that. Okay. Alright, so if I take it out and put it back in... What does that do for us? Ah, oh, there's more. Cool. I kind of want to feed him every single one all at once. Okay, we're going to do exactly that. Interesting. Oh, yeah, yeah, I saw that. I saw that meme, actually. <laughs> I really like that one. John Wick would not kill Thanos. It's more hobo home materials. Yeah, exactly. All right, let's see what the uh, this thing does in the bottom here. Oh, it's not even in yet. Holy cow! They already know what's going on. Okay, so it looks like a fan. Pretty nice. With a pencil. A fucking pencil. Did Thanos come? Yeah, I checked that uh, a couple days ago. Actually, I, 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 was, I lived. I was lucky. Something on my screen. I was spared, thankfully. So it's nice, at least. So what happens if you have these on multiple different uh, sides? Oh, that's also different. Okay. Not really sure what to make of this so far. For the good of the universe, it's more good than you'd think. Interesting, okay. So it seems like in different spots they also do... So if I have them both here, that's what does the... This minigames. What does the button do here, actually? I didn't really notice. I didn't really try that before. Slain by Thanos for the good of the universe. <laughs> oh, okay. So if I have him run at the right speed, charges up this thing at the top. I didn't notice it last time. Put this. <laughs> We're getting somewhere, boys. We're discovering. Nine of these, if you have all three in it, it shows you a list of sorts. Oh, okay, interesting. Very interesting. Uh. Ah. Candy, there we go. Okay. Do you get move the block to return the room to normal? Gives food. Oh, okay. Let me read this. Ooh. Oh, interesting. Okay. So what happens if this is in the bottom and this one's in the side? Nah, it's another new one. Look at that. Okay. It's a jump rope where you have to make them jump manually. Interesting. Okay. So 
Let me, let me lay it on its side here. This is a, this is a bit of a skill-intensive game. to spin too fast here. Oh. There we go. Nice. Can't have it open. Can't have what open? Okay, here, eat this new thing. Okay. Nice. Okay, so let me see. So, does this... Does this one show our entire collection of candy, then? No. So how do you get... Oh. oh I kind of like the skull one. Is there a way to choose... Um... Is there a way to choose from all the special candies that I have unlocked? Um, it's looking like a no. It's a bit unfortunate. Oh, you had the food thing open? Oh, okay, okay, I see. Okay, okay, so that's why that's why it took so long. Alright, I see now. Okay. So we haven't tried the key thing at all yet. We've been just... Literally everything we've done that just now is just with that, so... Let me plug this one in here. Let me turn it around for you guys here. A little more continuity. A little more immersion for you guys. So we get some nice water. He gets a floaty, which is convenient. Not much I could fill this up. I'm just gonna keep going. <clears throat> Looks like it's gonna fill up pretty much all the way. Just about, at least. Neat. Very cool. Looks like it won't fill up anymore. I guess if I take this out, probably the. Oh, there's a snake there. It drains out? Okay. Uh, first off, let's try this on the bottom. Um. I'm not sure I understand this one. Uh. Oh! How did I do that? Oh, okay, so you change the, uh, change the wallpaper. Oh, you just have to snap, let go of it really quick, okay. Interesting. I like it. Let's find a nice one here. Ah, there we go, perfect. Okay. So, we're just gonna try all the combinations here. We're just, we're gonna, we're gonna find everything there is to find here. So we do this, put the key in here. Eventually. There we go. Whoops. No, we don't want... We want to avoid the bombs. Which makes sense, actually. Whoops. Oh, I couldn't see that at all, actually. We need some good reaction time for this game. Damn. Not quite. Let's try again. I think playing this on a big screen is actually a large disadvantage, to be honest. Mushroom? What on earth? Hold on. Um, see. Oh, because of the water, I guess he won't eat if his... Uh, what? I removed the switch. Okay, there we go. That's a little bizarre. Here, eat the mushroom. Why does have eyes inside the void that calls them out? Dude, I have no idea. It's kind of horrifying, to be honest. Okay, there we go. I guess that's the special food for that game. Okay, so let's see. We'll try... Next, we'll try... Crank and Switch. Crank and Key, I mean. Yeah, this thing, to be honest, is kind of scary, but that's fine. Um... Um. 
don't think it's supposed to be open yet. <laughs> Why does my pet? Uh, I sort of do, but it's it's kind of scary because it literally eats through the same hole that it's it's just it's just kind of scary to be honest. Um. Um. I'm not sure I'm understanding this one. So if I crank, it just opens the oven. How does it reproduce? See, that in particular is something I just don't... I don't think I care to think about that, to be honest. What does this do? What's happening here? I feel like I'm missing something. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm not sure I get this one. Uh, okay, so I'm going to ignore that one for now. Uh, we'll maybe come back to that one if we have any uh, any epiphanies. Okay, so we're going to put this in the bottom. I'm going to put this on the side. Oof, okay, we get a nice water game. Try to make rule I guarantee that's already happened. I, I, I guarantee it. Oh, we need to try and get those on the hoop. Okay. How are you even supposed to do that? Is this, like, tilted accurately to, like... Oh, I think it is. That actually makes it a bit trickier. You want to bet? Honestly, I would... I would probably bet money on that. With how the, in with how the internet is, I, uh... I would be genuinely be surprised if it didn't already exist. This is a tricky one. How much? The thing is, I don't have actual money to bet, so, um... Uh... I'll say... I'll say publicly that you are right on stream. If, uh, if you're right. Isn't that enough? Uh... This is a tricky one, too. Yeah, okay. I'm not, uh... Don't think I'm gonna be able to do much with this one. This is, uh... This one's a little above my head right now. Let's try these two with the switch on the side. Around the, the bottom, I mean. Oh, interesting. Okay. So you have to steer it and then... Okay. Oh, but you don't have to hold it down the whole time. Okay. So you can go a bit slower if you want. Which is probably suggestible. Oh, damn. Can't find... Can't find any point I win. Suspicious. I'll I'll have to look into it myself later. I, I really find it hard to believe. I mean, I guess the Labo hasn't been out that long, but we've known about this character for a while at least, so... I don't know. I would have expected something by now. I really would have. I'm not even kidding. gonna try that one more time. Oh, no! Oh, damn. Okay, alright. Well, uh, okay, so now we have to try the key on the side and then both of the other ones on the bottom, and then I think we'll have seen everything. Check your whisper, alright. Hold up here. Jelly bean. I mean, certainly, I certainly guarantee you that there is Labo Rule 34. I, I actually guarantee that that's true. Like, almost for a fact. E even if it's not of the little the little guy, which, I, like I said, I'm pretty surprised that there's nothing of him, but um, but I guarantee there is something of Labo in general. Ah, uh, here, you can go ahead and, this guy can go ahead and eat the shit. Oh, that's right, I can't, because the key's there. Okay. Oh, well. So we're just gonna try this here. Oh, oh yeah, I remember this one. Okay. Okay. 
What does this do? Oh, went the wrong way. Whoops. Okay, I see. Yeah, thanks. Let's try that again. Ah, oh, so close. Is that good enough? Oh, uh, I guess it was good enough. Whatever on earth that thing is. All right, let's let's check it out. Oh, yeah, go ahead and eat that thing. Oh, that's quite nice. Okay, so one more. I think that we have to check. Oh no, there's actually one more after this. We'll. Oh, there actually might be three more. Oh jeez. Okay, there's a lot to this game. Interesting. Okay, so here we can actually choose from a few different candies. We're gonna try for this one here. Another cat thing. Five of lava, but it's all shit posts. Like it still counts. If anything, shit. I mean, I don't know what else it would be in besides a shit post, to be honest. So, kind of want the cheese. Can you not get the cheese? Your little. Okay, we got a bone. Got the cheese. Oh man, we got a lot of different foods to try here. This is this is a bountiful game right here. Oh, I wonder. Hold on. Let's see if we can kill, shoot the thing himself. Got him. All right, I already have the mushroom. But this is other thing over here. Whatever this is. Yeah, that thing. Whatever that strange thing is. God, I just keep pushing them sideways. How does that even happen? Ah, there we go. Okay, there's a fish. I just want the strawberry. I'm a strawberry. Okay. Oops. There we go. Okay. Alright. A lot of foods to try here, so let me, uh... Let's give him a go here. Let's try the candy first here. Just got stripes. Eh, boring. Strawberry. Oh god, that is literally horrifying. I'm really glad he wasn't looking into the camera for that one. That's terrifying. This thing is a monster. This is terrifying. Okay, so it seems like the candies change the, like, design that it has, and then the regular foods change the colors. That's what it seems like. But no matter what, he always looks- he's always a horrible, freakish monster, and he kind of scares me, to be perfectly honest. Ooh, some new things here now. But now I kind of see how it works, at least. Sort of pink egg. I kind of want the strawberry here. Oop. This way. There we go. Alright. There's nothing compared to Jacques. That's a lie. <laughs> uh, okay, what does this thing do again? This one, probably just gonna make it pink. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Okay. So now, if you have all three of them in, I feel like in every single different setup, all three of them in is gonna do a different game. So let's try that. Let's try out that theory here. Crank that crank. When the lamp lights up, push the button. Steady effort pays off in the end. Or is this just all the games? Oh, this is just... Okay. What does this do? Zooms in. Okay, so this is just... So I guess if you have all three of them in, it just shows you all the games then. Okay. Just a question of getting the timing down. 
Okay, apparently I've missed some combinations then. Just the right amount of power. Just the speed of the twisting tool. Railroad. Pulling. Fume. Oh, so I guess if you have food in your thing, then you can bring them here and then it cooks them. Okay, that's what I was missing. So I've missed one combination. Ah, oh, jeez, okay. I'm gonna have to try them all again then. So let's see, I tried this. I tried this. Okay. I tried that. I tried that. Okay. Tried that. Tried that. Uh, how did I end up with this one again? Um, I think I'm missing something here. Does it matter which side I put it in? Don't. That doesn't seem like it. That one. Yeah, it doesn't matter what side you put it in. Um. I see a really slow speedrunning Lobo, I'm sorry. I'm doing my best. So, what if you have all three of them in in different combinations? I think all three of them in is gonna always lead to that screen, but I'm not sure. I'm just confused how I'm missing exactly one of them. It's not fitting in. There we go. Um, there we go. Oh, it's having a hard time recognizing one of them. Okay, so for some reason now it's defaulting to thinking that it needs that it's zoomed in normally. Okay, it's getting a little bit bugged out here. Well, that's bizarre. Anyway, it's a little bit buggy. So here it's... So this actually is different. So now it's showing the, um... The, like, furniture, I guess? Okay. Is something moving inside? Oh, yeah, that's not have a snake in it. His hat looks funny. That's pretty accurate, honestly. I mean, that's the dim glow. Okay. Okay, so it actually does change things if you put them in different spots. Or, like, specifically which one you have in the bottom, I think, changes it. So let's try. Maybe that's where the last minigame is. It's possible, at least. Nope, I guess not. Okay. Oh, it makes it. Oh, okay, so the regular jelly beans do do something, apparently. Eating a mix, change color a lot. It's a snail? God, that's a terrifying snail. Okay. I haven't found soap yet. And how delicious it smells. An egg, but who's egg? I didn't I didn't think about trying to break it actually. Okay, so that's a, that's a microwave item. Okay. So, I somehow missed one game. I'm not going to sit here and try and uh, figure out what it is. But, uh, I, I, yeah, I like the house a lot. The house is very, very interesting. Um, that's double spicy barbecue burger hit the spot. Ooh, that does sound good. Okay, so... What I would like to do... Before we end it off, I think this is the play. I think with this, yeah, here we go. It's like an expansion to the uh, to the basic in instructions. This I'd like to try out. The cable blocks. Here we go. Yeah, I want to. I want to do this before we end it off here. Yep, thought so. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna do this, and then we're gonna mess around with this in the house a little bit more as well. Okay. 
So yeah, this basically will create a portal um, that will link the two sides that you that you put together, and then things will just kind of fall. It, it's it's like exactly like portal basically. It's in how it uh, how it ends up working out. So it's pretty cool. And I wonder if there's different mini game combinations with that as well. I would assume so. It takes up two spots, but I'm assuming if you put you know different things in the other spot, then it'll be then it'll work as well. Uh, which one's this? Uh, oh, they're identical. Yep, they sure are. Okay. Oh, I didn't knock out. Well, there's only. It's actually not that much to knock out here. It's just a couple little circles here. I mean, this is all there is to these ones. So this one, I think, is going to be pretty straightforward. It's going to use the uh, blue string in here. So let me go ahead and uh, fish this out in advance here. Um, it's looking a bag. No, there we go. I would make fries, but it's. Didn't feel like cooking more after grilling the burgers. Yeah, yeah, I definitely, uh, definitely can re can understand that, man. Okay. Old lines. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why they say that. This one you have to do this one after the house, so it seems weird to still. I guess just as a reminder in case you do it another day or something. So let's just um, crease everything. Yeah, it's absolutely everything. So works for me. <laughs> All right. Box together. Oh, it all goes together exactly, exactly as expected. Makes sense. There we go. Fits uh, nice and snug in there. Okay, got our box. Which way is? Okay. Victory. Do all the same stuff again. Okay. Is it exactly the same. Yep. Okay. Identical in every way. I'm not sure why they put this one in the side one. It seems, honestly, the most straightforward out of uh, out of all the blocks. Maybe that's why they put it in a separate thing because it's like you know simple enough that it's just not worth adding in the main thing. I don't know. So that it's like seven. Yeah, I mean for how it's been recently, like I would say it's, in, it's been like more like the 80s recently. That's that's like pretty hot considering how it's been for a, about eight months. It's, yeah, it's actually just completely doing the entire box again. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Here we go. Two for two. Intriguing. There are holes here. Who'd have thought? Marker six from the plastic bags. Left over from the Torque Gun House. Makes sense. Had a feeling as such. I got some LA weather. <laughs> um, interesting. Okay. I wouldn't have expected just cover the holes with, uh, with that, but okay. Very interesting. And I was looking around, I realized there's only one, there's only one more tiny square sticker, but that's because, assume, I'm assuming, I'm pretty sure this is how it works, um, the Joy-Con, or the, yeah, the, the infrared sensor in the Joy-Con knows which side is the entrance and which is the exit, based on whether or not there's this middle sticker in the, like, in the, uh, this, like, sticker in the middle here. So I could, like, tell apart the two, even though they look the same from the outside. Whoops, that's... Not even close, but I'm pretty sure it'll be good enough. Oh, okay, there's a thin sticker. Okay. So it does have a sticker, it's just a different one. Gotcha. Okay. 
And then this very long sticker here. find use for them later. So it's really not, uh, I mean, it's just like a long sticker, but I mean, I guess it could be used for something, so. Uh, actually, I put this in the, yeah, that's fine, okay. Alright, so it's the box. Boxes. Um, need to tie knots on both ends. About this much sticking out, okay? Uh, um, is that about right? Seems pretty good to me, I think. Maybe a little bit too much, but I think it doesn't have to be exactly right anyway, so. Not, uh, not super concerned. Not super concerned, you get it? You guys get it? It's a nice little joke for you bit of an advanced one, I'm not, you know, the, the, the casual listeners might not have caught up, caught on that one, but, uh, I think the more, the more astute listeners would have, uh, would figure it out. Okay, so it's not, not exactly even or anything, but, uh, it's good enough for me. <clears throat> Plus that tightly, tightly knotted, uh, just make sure here, pretty sure there, yeah, it's like pretty, pretty good there. <clears throat> Okay. Set the whole thing through. One more time with feeling. Okay. I'm not sure why the demo here is just it spinning in circles. It's a little bit bizarre, but uh, all right. So I'm just trying to get this pushed through here. Without uh, anything too stretched out or anything. There we go. Okay, so that one appears to be in there pretty well. I'm trying to get this corner to come up here, but okay, I think it's fine. Get your guy on it. Time for Booster Five grinding. <laughs> All right, man, sounds good. <clears throat> I'll be uh, I'll be back to doing the same either Monday or Wednesday again. So I'll be. Uh, I'll be I'll be starting up the grind starting the grind back up real soon. Okay, let's feed this in here. Some more jam and music here. There we go. So there's our uh, cable blocks linked up. Oh, sorry, I realize it's not even on camera. Linked up here. Pretty secure. Right? And yeah, I mean, that's the whole thing, so it's pretty straightforward. I can't need a break from that shit. Did it like 11? Alright, sounds good. <laughs> okay, now, you know what? You can, you can eat this broccoli. You are absolutely horrifying. Okay, so we go ahead and, for example, you can plug this in here. See, there's portal number one. Plug this one in here. Portal number two, and then there it goes. Now you can actually use this to link between multiple Joy-Con houses, which I thought was really interesting. Um, so actually, I think this would be more interesting if I introduce some uh, some items into the mix. So let's go ahead and. Some of these in there. Okay. Oh, and there they go. So that's pretty nice. Also, you could do this, but uh... oh, it does actually. It actually creates suction between the two. That's interesting. It seems like the red one is always the entrance, the entrance portal, and the blue one's always the exit portal. 
Okay, so now we just we're testing. Huh. Interesting. It doesn't actually create any new mini games. Which I guess they didn't want to bother making like a time that would be like six new interactions, so I guess they're just like, yeah, you can just uh Oh, actually, hold on. In that case, it creates some, some interesting things of its own. For example... Okay, just making sure here. Uh, water doesn't actually seem to do much... So it keeps thinking. It's having a hard time picking up on the key block. I'm not sure why. Let me try. Let me try switching these. Maybe it's just in that one position, but it's one way or another. It's having some trouble with the key block. I'm not sure why. None of the stickers have come off or anything. All seems to be in order. There we go. It's just that one side for some reason has a problem with the key block. So there we go. So now we can go ahead and. Uh, Fill it up. Oh yeah, it doesn't do anything interesting with the water, which I mean, you know, again, I guess the, the it looks like the portal, the cable block was a bit more of an after sight, if we're being honest, but uh, it's still pretty interesting. I like it. I like it well enough. I also wonder what would happen if you just leave one of the portal blocks there. Probably just does nothing. Looks like it just does nothing. Alright, we're gonna play a little bit more to this game here. Oh, this is the run. That was a perfect run right there. Ooh, zebra candy. Fancy. Here, you could just, uh... Okay, we have to, we're gonna have to get rid of this. Oh, interesting. Well, the portal's there. He actually, uh... Acts a bit like changes gravity around. So you can just eat all of this. You absolute glutton. <laughs> That's quite nice. Okay, so actually, I do want to play. I want to test at least one more game here. So first, we're going to set this up. Okay. For dear life. There we go. Right, we're gonna try and gather some ingredients here. We're gonna make something real nice. Hope you guys are ready. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do my first ever uh, cooking stream here once we once we gather our ingredients. There we go. <laughs> what? Okay. Right, definitely gonna want to get this acorn in on the action. Actually, I kind of just want to eat the acorn to see. I'll we'll probably just eat the acorn. Okay. Definitely need to get some cheese in on the action. Okay. And I mean, we've gotten everything else, so we might as well get the snail, too. This is going to be a, a real smorgasbord here we're going to make. What are you doing? I would have gone down too, but he knocked it away. <laughs> okay. Oof, the snail is a little bit tricky here. There we go. Okay. Okay, so let me think. I think it's, okay, first let's, let's go ahead and eat the acorn. Yeah, eat the acorn. Yeah, he had absolutely no problems eating it. He just ate the thing whole. The absolute, absolute madman. Okay, so I think it's uh, this one. No. Is it this one? No. Is it um? um is it uh, this one? No. Uh, is it this one? No. Uh, 
Satam. <laughs> I think I already tried this one. Uh, hold on, I'll get this eventually. No. Where did this- I, I feel like I keep losing a minigame somehow. No. What is happening here? That's not it. What combinations have I not tried? Oh, I'm so confused. I'll just reconfirm that this doesn't change anything. No. Hold on, let's try something else then. No, not that one. I'm having a real hard time here. Hold on. Oh, wait, there it is. Oh, I forgot there's ones for just having the two set up like this. Okay, hold on. That's probably one of the ones that I'm missing then. It's probably this one. No, okay. Alright, whatever. I still don't know what minigame I'm missing. There we go, jeez. That's all I wanted, okay. There we go. I can only do five things? Oh, maybe that is everything, actually, okay. How do I, uh... Hmm. Um, let me close. Oh, there we go, okay. Sometimes I can and can't, uh, like, actually turn the thing. So. No, I want to keep it closed. Closed, please. Okay. Uh, okay, there we go. Delicious. Perfect. Exactly what I wanted. Crank out the way? Yeah, yeah, there we go. Oh, jeez. Thank you for that. Yeah, I don't, for some reason, I, like, sometimes I try and turn it the other way and it just doesn't turn, so I think it's not supposed to. Uh, okay, here, eat this. Oh. Interesting. So I wonder if that just, like, randomizes. You can get, like, different combinations of colors that way. Very cool. Okay, I think we are just about good with this. I do want to look at the minigames again, because I still, I don't understand how I'm missing a minigame. That's the part that's really confusing me right now. Um. There we go. Okay, not that one. I'm just trying to find the mini game. There we go. Okay. Every beach day needs a ring toss. Oh, that's the ring toss one. I have found that one. Why does it? Why does it think I haven't found this one yet? Also, what is going on back here? Is there like, uh... Oh, this res also, it actually shows you exactly which parts you need to do each minigame, which is pretty nice. So you can see there, it actually shows you. So, key on the bottom, crank on the side. It should just be this one. Is it because I haven't completed this one yet? Maybe? Because this one seems to be devilishly challenging. Oh. Oh. I got one. I wonder if you have to win-win the game for it to actually, like, show up. I'm not sure. Alright, this is, like, the hardest one to control, too. Just because you have... You have this switch on the bottom that you have to turn. You have to turn the crank and you have to move the house to, like, change the, um, change the gravity and stuff. So this is, like, a, this is, like, a pretty challenging one. Okay, we're getting close here, though. I kind of, I kind of want to complete it here. So we're very close. back a little bit. Oh. Nice. Ooh. 
Now that looks exotic. Definitely just gonna eat this right away. Ooh. Okay, so... I believe minigames was this configuration. This one? No. Switch these then, I think. There we go. Now it shows up. There we go. Okay. So now I think as far as it's concerned, at least we have pretty much completed the game here. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, what is? Hold on. Look at all those candies. A mysterious perfume for storing designs as candies. Eh, interesting. Okay, so I can, like, store, like, specific configurations, I guess. Okay. Interesting. Alright. Let's try a little bit, a little bit more fun with the, uh, teleporting block here. Ah. Okay. That is, uh... Oops, the bar is loose there. It's a pretty satisfactory, uh... Conclusion to the, uh, the house section. I Like I thought, this this did end up being, like, my favorite one. At least so far. It's my favorite one to just mess around with, so... That's pretty fun. Okay. So, let me see what else here. What else do I want to do? Think about actually streaming today? Really? I didn't even know you streamed, to be honest. That's interesting. I don't really think I care much for the Discover stuff right now, at least. <laughs> I never do- okay, that makes sense then. Oh, uh, what is this? Is that just the title screen? If I have that, it's sort of like the opening animation or something, I think. Whoops. I think I just started the fishing one. No, I'm not doing that right now. Sorry. Maybe another time. Okay. I don't know how to broadcast to Twitch. Uh, OBS is what I use. Uh, there's a bunch of... Oh my god, I keep doing that. Uh, there's a lot of guides online that'll... That'll help you out with that. Okay. I sound really young. I mean, this... It's, it's fine. I don't see, it's not, it wouldn't really be, uh, be an issue or anything. I mean, sure, I, obviously it's, it's gonna be well before people really watch you that much. Because, especially if, you know, you're just, just starting out, but, uh... It's always, it never, it never hurts to just kind of hop into it, though. That's, that's how I feel about it, at least. Especially if, uh, you know, if you're gonna be playing games anyway, like, if you want to try getting into streaming, there's, there's not really, it's certain, it's worth a shot, in, in my opinion, at least. You might find you might find out uh, you like it at least, so. And I mean, if you don't, then you know it's not like it's not like you're really any worse off if you're gonna play games anyway. Especially, it's it's literally zero time lost besides uh, the time that it takes to like initially set it up and stuff. But I mean, if you're going for like a simple setup anyway, then it's probably not gonna take that long. So. Well, I just want them views. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I feel that. Whoa, hey man, how are, uh, how are, how are you doing? How are things? Doing a little bit of cleanup here. We're getting close to wrapping it up here. I think I'm just gonna start messing around with the creations I already have built here. And, um, just kinda go from there. Sound of Black Ops 3 sells the zombies map separately for $8 each. Is that, uh, is that, like, unusual? Like, separately, like, so that you don't even need to own Black Ops 3 separately? Or, um... Because if so, that's actually very interesting. Okay, so I think I can seal this up here. Okay. Seal this. It's either an art stream or an IRL stream without showing... IRL without showing your face. That's an interesting... That's a very interesting development. Uh, I'm, yeah, art streams are always a good choice. I've been trying to tell... Uh, I've been trying to tell Cass to try and get into art streaming sometime. I really do think she'd like it, but um, 
Or at least with right now, she doesn't really have a setup. You just buy the zombie map, not the help. Oh, okay, okay, I see. That's pretty cool, though, considering that most people really don't give... Like, most people literally just don't care at all about the, um... About the actual... You know, the actual DLC besides the zombies map. That's, like, the main reason most people buy them, anyway. How about an MS Paint Night? That would honestly... That honestly sounds pretty amazing to me. I won't be able to tune in for most of it, but I will definitely try and stop by when I can at least. I think I've been neglecting my studies for several days, so I'm probably going to need to do some studying tonight. Um, so I can't make any promises, but I would like to be able to stop by if I can. At least just to like lurk in the channel, just so you get, you know, you get a, you got a viewer or two at least. Um, okay, so let me see, how does this thing open up? Because normally these things have a way that you can, like, open it and then just, like, put the parts in there when you're not using them. Um. Okay, let me take the Joy-Con out here. So that's another really cool thing about these, is that they always are just empty on the inside. So you can just, like, put all your stuff in there. But I'm trying to figure out where this one opens up. There we go. Uh, actually, I just realized I, actually, I have to look it up on my phone now because uh, my keyboard is still out of commission at the moment. Okay, so just a second here. I, I'd really like. There's got to be a way to do it. Yeah, okay. Can't find it. Okay. This back panel looks like it's the most... The best potential here. Oh! Mm, it's not ideal, though, because it's kind of not... quite so easily accessed up on top here, I don't think. Oh. I guess it's not bad, actually. Then you can kind of put the stuff in there, and then uh, you have to resnap a few things, though. Yeah, it's not not perfect, but uh, it's better than just keeping them lying around. So <laughs> works for me. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do exactly that. Just kind of put all this stuff in here. So you just kind of throw the stuff in here. For easy storage, and then uh, 
steal it back up. You have to redo a good number of tabs, though, is the main problem. So actually, you kind of have to take this part off as well. Because otherwise, it's a bit inconvenient to access some of them. Um, come on. There we go. Okay. So it, is, it is quite a bit of work, to be fair. I'm realizing now. But, um... I, I like the compact storage, so it's worth it for me. But it might not be worth it for you. See, and then you just you have to redo this and this. Um, and then all three of the ones in the back as well. Which I'll show you once they're back in so that I don't have to worry about this stuff all falling out. There we go. And then you have to redo this one, this one, and this one. And then you have to re-put on the roof as well. But again, it's... It's, in my opinion, it's worth it, because now the all the house and all the accessories are all contained uh, right here, so. The piano, it's a lot more convenient. I don't know if there's, like, a more convenient way to access it, but uh kind of see see all the parts in there. I'm going to shout his evil character is voiced by Jeff Gold. Really? What character? I had no idea of that. Okay. Um, let me think. 44, I mean, it's probably good enough to end it off here. But, um... I'm curious, I'm gonna take a quick peek. I'm not planning on doing much, I'm just curious what stuff they show off for the, the house in the Discovery section here. The Bad Magician guy? Really? Okay. That's very interesting. Did not realize that. Okay, different blocks, yeah. Boop. it once. Yep. Sticking into it once? Yeah, I've been there. What can I say? <laughs> oh, they got a bunch of soap. I've never seen soap before. I'm jealous. Uh, much blocks combine. Also shake it. Yep. I do wonder- I'm sure there's more interactions that I didn't discover also. Tilt it. Or just leave it alone. <laughs> just doing nothing. Oh, uh, Scary. Okay. Whoops. I just... Oh, no, I didn't. Okay. Uh, 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 okay. Now, this, is, this is too much as far as, like, how it works. I kind of know how it works. It's just a lot of text to mash through, really. Um, do we check out the secret lab? I could take a little peek here. I can show off generally how it works. It's not very, it's a lot better to do on the touch screen, but, uh. Sure. Uh, don't lab, to on garage. Demonstration, okay, so it's just gonna connect the blocks, call them nodes. Yeah, this is why it's way easier to do this on the touch screen. But uh, I'll see how it works, at least with the controllers. Remember when you touch the screen? Okay. Oh, Lobo Man! Lobo Man for Smash, please! Please, Lobo Man! I literally want that so badly. Do the rubber bands really stretch that far? I kind of doubt that, to be honest. Beep. That's quite nice. What? That's not how that's supposed to work. You're going against the laws of nature. Um, how do I... Not edit to use touch controls while playing. Uh. <laughs> that was so serious. That was so weird. Hold on. That's so bizarre. It's just there's no music. There's no sounds. All you can do.
That's like dead serious when that's happening. Oh my god. That's crazy. Okay. So I guess we're not gonna do anything with that. That's fine. That's uh there's that that's where the real magic happens. That's when the really advanced stuff starts coming into play, and that's uh it's a little bit above my head, I'm not gonna lie. There's uh, there's a so much stuff you can do with that, it makes my head spin. Okay. So I think we are going to be ending it off here. So I'm going to go ahead and oops, try to you know, honestly, we could just end it off on the screen today, because it uh, shows the screen and it has the music and stuff playing, so. Okay. So, pretty successful day, I'd say. We made the piano here, as well as uh, these knobs inside. And we made the house. As well as the car, of course. The car is, you know, very, very easily made. So this, these are our, uh, these are our rewards. Hard-earned victory for today. Oh, we got a few other things here as well. This antenna thingy. It's just literally just for looks, but you know. And then a few uh, nice flags here. I don't know where I'm gonna store these because the the um, the RC car doesn't have like a large structure that you can just put stuff in, so it's a little unfortunate. But oh well. So this should have gone in this bag. Just uh, oh, trying to. Oh, it's double. It's a double lock, Ziploc bag. That's it's a little above my head. I'm not gonna lie. It's an advanced, uh, advanced kind of bag. I've never, I'm not familiar with this kind of power. Okay. So that's uh, those are our our rewards for the day. I'm pretty happy about it. These are the two things I really wanted to finish today. These are the two things I was really excited to try out, and uh, we got them both done. Well within the time as well. We got to mess around with them. All that good stuff. A lot of fun. Uh, here, I'm gonna actually try and get this camera kind of back. In. Okay, so I'm gonna take the headphones off and I'll put the main screen back to my uh, monitor so that I can start getting things a little bit back in order here. Okay. Oh god, the main screen looks really weird now. It looks like darker and more washed out than it did before. Um, let me hold on. I'm just—I've been having some problems with my main monitor recently. It just kind of doesn't seem to do things correctly anymore. The color is like off too. It's kind of weird. Okay. Anyway, that's fine. I'm not gonna worry about it right now. But um. Okay. So I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna actually gonna put the camera back up. Oh, back up a bit, not down. Okay. Whew, that's good enough for now. Oh, I will actually go ahead and end it off over over here. We still got the music playing in the background, so that's whoops, that's not right. There we go. Uh, it is zoomed in now though, so let me sorry, hold on. I'm just I'm just fixing everything now so that I don't forget to fix it later. Cause I actually had this camera zoomed in a bit. Your video. Uh, it doesn't seem to like that right now, so I'll just configure it later. Put this back where it normally is. Okay. So, thank you everyone very much for hanging out today. I know a lot of you guys were here for most of the stream, which is impressive. It's an eight hour stream almost. And, uh, you know, I was just sitting around playing with cardboard for eight hours. So, <laughs> really appreciate all you guys for uh, for coming out here today. Uh, go ahead and re show what we, what we have to show for it here. We got the piano. Just trying to put it on stream there. There we go. Piano. Ding. Something along those lines. And then we got the house, which of course has all the pieces inside, so I can't show any of that off. Cat's chewing the car. Was he actually? <laughs> I just saw him jump down. He's apparently his camera shots. We can actually put both of these on top of each other, although you can't actually see it, but uh, it's quite uh, it's quite revolutionary, I would say. Uh, he does actually want to get out, so just a second. Opened the door. Me opening the door made him have to move, so he moved away from the door, and then he was turned the opposite way, and then he didn't remember that he wanted to leave. So <laughs> that seems about right, if, if I had to guess. Okay, but um, 
yeah, thank you everyone very much for, for hanging out here today. Appreciate all you guys again. A lot of fun. I will definitely be doing this again to at least finish the two variety items that I have left. It'll probably take, like, less than half the time it took me this time, because this time we did, like, two of the longest ones. Um, so, and then we still got the fishing rod and the motorbike. And I might show off some of the other stuff that you can do with them, maybe? I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that yet. Definitely, I just, the main thing I want to do is build them. That's the, the most fun part for me. And then, you know, messing around with them for a little while. So, um... Yeah, we'll be doing that again at some point, possibly with Cass. I think that would be pretty interesting, personally. So, uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully I'll be able to swing that at some some point in time. No promises when exactly. We got like five follows during this, which is just crazy. Oh, hey, they finally uh, settings finally showed up. Perfect. Took long enough. There we go. Uh huh. But uh, yeah, we got five new follows. Appreciate all you guys for the for following. I think it's five. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. Okay. Um, yeah, Monday, like I said, most likely I'll be doing some, uh, some more Binding of Isaac. Um, I'm in an exam until, like, 8. I'm literally gonna be there from 8 to 8 tomorrow, or on Monday. I'm gonna be exhausted, so I can't completely promise that I'm gonna actually stream, because, uh, I'm, I know I'm gonna be super exhausted. I'm hoping I will. I'm hoping I'll be not ex too exhausted that I don't want to stream. But um, just, just, just your, just you guys are prepared. I might not stream on Monday. I'll have to see. But um, hopefully, hopefully I'll be feeling up to it. And uh, yeah, so that's gonna do it. I'll be streaming Isaac possibly Monday, definitely Wednesday, and then probably start you again on Friday. And since I'll be on summer break after Monday, I might be streaming a little bit more often as well. I'll let you guys in on that when I, uh, I figure it out. Uh, give me remote access, I'll play for you. <laughs> Can you imagine? I'm just, like, sleeping and re the stream is going. I'm The room is completely dark, but the game is just playing. It's just Ryu playing for me. <laughs> That'd be legendary. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, we're gonna be back on the Isaac grind very soon here, so... <sighs> Hope you guys are ready. I don't know if I am, to be honest, but, uh... I've come this far. I'm gonna see it through. I'm gonna... I'm gonna 100% the game. I've come too far to stop now. Certainly. I've done all the hardest stuff. At least, in theory. But, uh, we'll have to see some of the new stuff he has added. Um... But, yeah. The grind is really for me. Yeah. That's the cons That's the scary part, is that even you're, like kind of just dealing with the grind right now but um one percent away oh my god that's crazy absolutely crazy um but yeah thank you guys very much for for hanging out tonight and i will uh see you guys again hopefully on uh, monday so yeah hope you guys all have a good night